Oh, <laughs> we're opening a second video per somebody's request. What do you want to say? This is our last vlog before Vlogmas. Do you remember Vlogmas? You do? What do we do during Vlogmas? It's a little chaotic right now. I'm wearing a new sweatshirt I bought at Target as she makes a mess. We got some McDonald's today. Anything else? Tonight I'm going to be making C-O-O-K-I-E-S. I think that's it for now. Evening. I'm about to choose cookie cutters for my Thanksgiving cookies. I'm probably gonna go with fall shapes. So I do have Hanukkah ones, so maybe I'll make another batch for Hanukkah. So I think I'm gonna do turkey, leaf, acorn, apple. I do have pumpkin ones, but I feel like Pumpkin is so Halloween-y, but I think we're good with these shoes. Um. We're about to watch the Eagles game, but our majority Black Friday Amazon order just came in. It's not completely Black Friday, but the majority is. So last vlog I said we got these LED lights for the ceiling here. After Scott did researching, because I was annoyed with just like what was in this pack of LED lights, we wound up getting a couple things. These are, these are called connectors, right Scott? Yeah. They're like connectors. So we have a pack of those. So that was not Black Friday. This is Black Friday. I actually didn't even know this existed, but Phoebe is going to be so excited. Last year, when we got Phoebe her little play kitchen for Christmas, the people who we bought it from had included all these random, just like kitchen things that went from when their kids used it. And one of the things were like these ketchup and mustard things that when you pour them over, it like, it looks like you're squirting out ketchup and mustard. It's probably one of her favorite things in the entire kitchen. And I saw this was on sale from Melissa and Doug, and they make all these different condiments that have that same kind of effect. So she's gonna be very excited and be making lots of recipes with it, I know. Next, this should be the other thing we got for the LED lights. So we actually wound up getting these cords that'll help us extend it so we can reach our outlets. And more box. All right, so a few things. Somehow, I didn't get Phoebe very many shirts that are long sleeve. I don't know how I like dropped the ball on that, but I wanted to see what they had. And honestly, it was really hard to find shirts in a multi-pack that were really discounted, but I've actually wound up finding, finding a pair, like a pack from Gap. And they're like waffly and stretchy and it's just... It's kind of noisy here. Huh? It is a bit, it is a bit. These like stretchy waffly shirts, which will be perfect. And then the other thing is, a gift we got my parents. Oh, I cannot open it. Maybe I'll insert a picture here. My parents do not watch the vlog, so it's okay. But we got them like a really nice charcuterie board set. It comes with like little utensils. Um, it has little, oh my God. has these little like, oh my God. It has like chalkboard, little chalkboards. So if they want to like label stuff, there's little chalkboards. And it also has like little dishes that they could put dips and stuff in. So it's really nice. I don't think they have a charcuterie board, but they certainly always have cheese and crackers when I'm there. So I think this is going to be something that definitely my dad is excited about. <laughs> definitely my dad. So Merry Christmas, mom and dad. Hope you're not watching. <laughs> Hello. Today's the day before Thanksgiving. Um, last night I iced the cookies. I shredded all the cheese for the mac and cheese last night also. This morning I cut the apples for apple pie. Scott and Phoebe are at, are at an appointment right now, so I told Phoebe after the appointment we can make the pie. Then Scott's going to make dough for rolls he's gonna bake tomorrow. And then the last thing will be I will make the back, 
the mac and cheese tonight. And then we're heading out really early tomorrow because Scott's doing a 5K. So Stevie and I are gonna drop him off at the 5K. The 5K is like right between my parents' house and our house. So we're just gonna go to my my parents' house like very early tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. Phoebe does have a bit of a stuffy nose. So I hope it's not going to really escalate from there. And it's just going to just like remain what it is. Ah, speaking of which, that reminds me, before they got home, I wanted to set up her humidifier in her room. So I'm gonna run and do that right now. Okay, I did it. And I looked over and I saw these two little fools having their little special time because Phoebe's not here. Okay, so I said what we're doing on Thanksgiving. Friday, I'm gonna go out for a little bit in the morning and then Scott's gonna go grab lunch with some friends in the afternoon. Other than that, nothing really too exciting for Black Friday. Saturday is our 11 year dating anniversary. So Phoebe's gonna sleep over my parents' house and we're gonna go out to dinner and hopefully sleep in. However, there's somebody over there who likes to wake me up when Phoebe isn't the one to wake me up. So we'll see how that turns out. Happy Thanksgiving, it's basically over. I felt like the thankful turkey needed one last special moment. I don't know what I'm more thankful for. Is it cat treats or poo poo? You'll never know. Thanksgiving went well. I'm just very tired. It was a long day. Tomorrow I'm going out in the morning. Scott's going out in the afternoon. And then we rest the rest of the day. Good morning. Today's Black Friday. I do plan on going out. I have always been a very big Black Friday shopper. Like I like the experience. I feel like they've changed it a lot since, you know, everything's online now, which is okay because trust me, I don't need to get everything in store. Yesterday I did make two purchases, one for Ulta, but like half the order was stuff for Phoebe. It was a pretty small order. And everything in the Ulta order were just repurchases of things we were out of or very low on. And then Target. I bought the um, the mascara kit from Target. I think it was on sale for $15. And it had like some really good stuff in it. But today, I think I'm just gonna run over to Kohl's. Uh, sometimes I feel like Kohl's is easier to shop in store than online. Last night, we did the LED lights, finally. Oh my goodness. It was hard and it was stressful and scary because we thought we weren't gonna get it to work because we were having trouble connecting the two strips together. And I was like, oh my God, it's not gonna work. Um, we, we vlogged some of it, but it's going to go up in the decorating the house vlogmas vlog. But here, I'll kind of give you a sneak peek. So it starts there and it goes like halfway around the room. And I can control it on my phone, which that's cool. That's why I liked this strip was that like you can, ugh, that's annoying that I always have to log in though. So I can turn on the light. Isn't that cool? And you can like make it all different colors. Like I can make it red, I can make it purple. And then there's also like different settings where like it can like change colors or there's like relaxing mode or there's nighttime mode, which like you can see it's more dimmed. But yeah, I am really happy with it, but it was, it did not make me want to install LED lights ever again. <laughs> That's for sure. So I am back. I was pretty successful. I wanted to get stuff for my grandparents and I wound up finding stuff. I stopped at Wawa, not Wawa, Duncan, and I got the cookie butter cold brew. And it's really good. So I went to Kohl's and then I couldn't find anything for my pop-up. So I went to TJ Maxx where they didn't actually have like sales, it was just regular stuff. But I actually got a set of hand towels because they had Mario and Luigi on it. I've been trying to find towels like that for a while now. You're done? You're ready for makeup? Hello. <laughs> that was your tummy. Can I show everybody your hair that I just did? You want to show your hair? <laughs> so I just did her hair. What do you think? I didn't show you yet. You want to see it? I'll take a picture for you. Come here. So see, it has a Cinderella bow in it that you picked out. You like it? All right, you want to go upstairs and do makeup? She's off. I just got my new jammies in the mail. It's a one piece. I don't know if buttons on a one piece is the most practical for having to use the bathroom, but I love it. It's from Old Navy. Um, just got delivered today. Scott's making some rolls because we had leftover dough that we didn't wind up making for Thanksgiving. That's it. Pointing at the dough. 15 grams of. Pointing at the dough. So daddy's, what is daddy making? Pizza, right? Ah. You like standing it up? Okay. Uh, we're at pizza tomorrow. 
Yeah, come on, come to you. Oh, yeah. And there's Daddy. Daddy. Making pizza for tomorrow. This morning, Phoebe, where did we go today? We went. Mama gave me this. How do you ask nicely? I say, uh, peace. Standing in update because that probably was really chaotic. This morning, Phoebe insisted we had to go to Target. So we did a family quick trip to Target. Today is mine and Scott's 11 year dating anniversary. So Phoebe's gonna sleep over at my parents. We're going out for Mexican tonight. We're planning <laughs> to film the candy cane challenge when we get back. We'll see how successful that is. I just filmed for Vlogmas. I got dressed. Uh, I did my makeup, my hair. I didn't do. This is just. This is just what it is. I got everything like set up for the candy cane challenge. Like typically what I do is I'll like write down like, like um, right, like green and pink candy cane is like this flavor. So I, because I'm not, I don't have the packages in front of me when we're filming. So I already, did. there are no horses in my house, even though those were clearly gallops. Right, so assuming everything goes fine tonight, we should hopefully be able to film that tonight, which is, literally my favorite thing we film every single year. Sometime this coming week, hopefully we'll be able to film the Q&A. Again, if you guys have any questions you want us to answer, definitely leave them in the comments. You left some really good ones in the last video. Uh, that's it right now. Action. It's been a while, you and me, but I'm back. This time, not with food related, this content, this is clothing related content. So I, in my wardrobe have like three kinds of clothes. I have, or three kinds of pants, I should say. I have jeans, I have sweatpants, and I have, yeah, exactly, work pants. And I don't have anything like in between that. So it's like, if I'm, I don't know, working out or, you know, lounging around or going over someone's house or whatever, it's literally, I gotta put on some slacks or I have to put on sweatpants and if it's you know not necessarily you say you want man leggings hang on if it's too hot out then i don't want i don't want sweatpants but i also don't want to wear jeans every single time i go out and obviously i'm not wearing my uh my work pants or whatever out too which is what i did today these are like work pants i don't usually wear okay but i just i haven't worn them to work so i i wore them out today so a little extra fancier all right, Family. and I'm just wearing this, this, you know, just t-shirt. So I was looking online, what's that? I want the male equivalent of leggings. It's kind of like the male equivalent of leggings where it's like an in-between. So I was looking online for them for something like that. And I've been looking for a couple years now, I feel like. And I finally, like, I've heard of this company. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called the Gymshark. They had some pants that I was interested in trying. And since I guess like, I don't understand how to just like try on pants. Like I don't think they have a place to, uh, like an actual s store that you could like go to, do they? So I just bought, they had a bunch of uh, uh, Black Friday deals and I just bought pants. So you're going to get to see me try them on. Okay, so these are called, this is called Arrival Woven. This is Arrival Pant, it's a medium, and these are Silhouette Gray. So this is the Shark logo, pretty cool. These are super duper lightweight. So I saw online that these are very uh, tight around the calf here, and I could not get these on without unzipping this, so I guess that's why they have it, you know, they have a zipper there. So these are nice. So yes, yeah, so the other thing is like swishy pants. Like that's what I used to have. But so these are, do they swish? Can you hear the swish? They're not swishing. So these are nice. I like them. I think they're, they're pretty awesome. lightweight. They have a, so you typically wear a 30-30. That's your size, right? I think it is like a 30-30 now. So yeah. what size did you so order? These are medium. So you buy just medium. says medium, whatever okay. medium is. Just, All right, so this is, this is the first one here. That's what you can see me from the side. <laughs> 30-30, a medium would fit comfortably. I think, yeah, these are these are very comfortable. They're, they're nice and stretchy. So the the guys online, they do high kicks. Did you buy that style, like multiple of that style? Oh, here, so, uh, so I don't this know. is sport jogger. This is, so I have two sport joggers, and I think this is, of course this doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this is another arrival pant. 
This one's great. I'll tell you when I open it. One second. Okay, so these are, yeah, they're the same uh, pants. These are Arrival pants, and uh, they have the same uh, zipper here. So it is actually kind of annoying to have to unzip these when I wanted to take those gray ones off. But anyway, I'm supposed to keep this talk light uh, because I, I am quite the talker, but these are the, just them in green. Okay, so these are the next pair, third pair of pants here. These are called Sport Joggers. They uh, do not have as tight a bottom here. They don't have the zippers. I was able to just kind of slip them on nice and stretchy. And, uh, again, here's the shark there. So these pockets, they have two pockets here. Uh, this is a zipper pocket, so it's interesting. Oh, this one too. And there's no pockets on the butt. What else was I going to say? Oh, just that. Yeah, so they're nice and stretchy. Really like, these see, are... That you, literally looks like athletic what? leggings. Like, yeah, they're athletic. Leggings, but no, they're but they're like still... These are, these are still... I feel like they're a lot like the blue ones that I have upstairs, which they're not sweatpants. So I do have blue these pants. Look, these look... That are not sweatpants. The blue ones look not more... Fancy. I should go get Jogger them. style. These look more like these are joggers. Stretch. I know, but these are literal joggers. Yeah, these are very stretchy. They're very stretchy. I so when I put them on, I immediately noticed like how much I guess like saggier and like how much baggier that might be just they are. Active. But I'm saying that this this is still a medium. This is a medium, and these these have a lot more material. But do you feel like it's because like you can be active? Because like the clothes are meant to be. I active. don't know. I really don't know. Like you could do like some straddles? Yeah, I mean, that, that's what the, I said the guys do in the videos, they, they do the kicks. Anyway, yeah, no, they, these are nice. But I mean, I want to just wear these like, just, you know, like regular pants. They're pretty shiny. I'm noticing that they're, they're really shiny. Because like I have a black shirt on and I'm like, hmm, these are really shiny. Overall though, I would still keep them. So this is another pair of the sport joggers. So just like those black ones I just had on. Yes, yeah, sport jars, also mediums. So literally the exact same thing. I was gonna say, but you should wear those at work. Well, so this is what I was gonna say is it's it's hilarious. I'm looking at them, same zipper pocket, everything's the exact same, it's just a different color. But yeah, right, I could I could potentially wear these to work. But like literally I'm looking at them, I pulled them out of the box and I was like, uh, or out of the bag, and I'm like, oh my god, I got just a different color gray. I was like, oh, it's just a lighter gray. But like no. I, I should show you what, what the color looks like online. Like in person, this looks so different. It looks like khaki pants These on the are, on the site. But they look like khaki pants to me. Do they? In they don't lighting, look like me look, looking. Maybe it's the lighting or anything. Because like, they don't look like khaki pants to me. They look like khaki. That's why I said you should wear them super work, light. They look like khaki. That's the color online versus this color here. Look at that. Look how much more khaki they look, though. It looks like the exact same color. No, it does not. I swear it's God. literally my angle? I think it must be. It must be my angle because, because I can't. Even like I'm looking here, I don't see. Color. Really? I am looking with my eyes. They look like the exact same color. But yeah, looking at this, I was like, I was like, oh my God, I literally could wear this yes, to work. Yes, cool. But yeah, That's so true. these are these are really nice, too. I love Overall, I think I'm a four out of four. I'm going to keep them all. And uh, this is a big moment for Scott. I'm people. just a little, still a little, uh, what's the word, perturbed by the uh, the zippers here, but I think I'll I'll get over it. That's it. That's my haul. Good morning. So the piece of furniture is sitting on right now, typically is right here under our fireplace. It's just a cabinet we have some toys in, but we've been using the fireplace a lot lately, so we moved it. Meaning that the stockings have been hanging here. Not that she's tried to pull them down, but I've been still worried about her pulling something off and getting a concussion. Then I saw someone used big command hooks and like put them up on their mantle so that they can't be pulled down. So I just found a bag of command hooks and we're gonna do this right now. I have two things left that I need to get done before we pick up Phoebe today. One, wrapping everything for Hanukkah because Hanukkah starts next Thursday and I just want to get it done right now. Two, we thought of like this like tree idea because we like doing the thankful turkey so much where we're going to have like a tree on the wall and then like add an ornament every day but like kind of add 
let her like add little phrases to each ornament. Anyway, I need to like somehow paint a giant tree on a giant piece of cardboard so we can hang it where the turkey is. So right now I'm gonna go get a lot of wrapping paper. Finished wrapping Hanukkah. Now I have this giant piece of cardboard. I found two green paints. This one's actually a pine, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough. So I'll mix in a little bit of this more like limey one just so I have more to work with. And I'll probably get acrylic paint on something while I do this. definitely wasn't what I was going for so I'm gonna go with good enough it kind of looks like a bell and not so much a tree but I don't think Phoebe's gonna know that I am going to close it off here this is a pretty decent vlog and Friday is going to be the start of Vlogmas. So this is the very last moments you will see before the chaos begins. We've got lots of different things planned. It's gonna be a busy month. It's a good month, hopefully, but a busy one.